What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak iOS 15 through 15.4.1 using the dopamine jailbreak. So if you're on 15.1 and you've jailbroken previously with Xena A15, if you want to use the dopamine jailbreak, all you have to do is just go into settings and make sure that you uninstall the Xena jailbreak. Anytime you're switching between jailbreaks, it's always a really good idea to make sure you uninstall jailbreak or restore rootfs or whatever you have to do to ensure that the jailbreak files are no longer on your device. It's just a good idea going forward. This way, the jailbreaking process with dopamine can go smoothly. Also, check the Troll Store app on your device, and if you still see package managers installed, go ahead and uninstall them. Before we get started with things, here's a couple of things to note. This jailbreak only works on iOS 15.1 through 15.4.1. So by using this jailbreak, you're getting a little bit more iOS version support than you would have with Xena A15. But just something to note, this isn't an iOS 16 jailbreak yet. This only works up to iOS 15.4.1. Also, just like with Xena, this works on A12 through A15 and M1 as well. The next step is installing Troll Store, and if you don't know how to do that, here's how to do it. So all of the links will be down below in the description. You just want to copy and paste the first link in the description. It's going to ask if you want to open it up in iTunes. Tap open and you can go ahead and just press install here. Troll Helper wants to install and then if you go ahead and go out, you can see an app that says JB will now start to install on your device. And then once that's done, you can see it says GTA Card Tracker. Pretty much this is just an installer for Troll Store. So all you have to do is tap install Troll Troll Store, and then once the device resprings and you're back up, you can see Troll Store is right there. Also, thanks to a core trust bug that was discovered, all you have to do is go into the Car Tracker app and hit Register Persistence Helper. And once you do that, Troll Store and whatever app you sign with Troll Store will just be permanently signed on the device and it will no longer expire after that seven day limit, which we're so used to seeing. Next up, go into the Troll Store app under settings and install LDID. And now we're ready to go ahead and install dopamine. There's actually two interesting ways to do this. You can press on open in Troll Store on the website, but unless you have the URL scheme enabled, you get this weird magnifying glass thing. So go into the settings if you wanna install it this way on Troll Store and make sure that the URL scheme is enabled so that way this actually works properly. So now if we tap on the open and troll store button, you'll see we get a dialog pop up that says open and troll store. Then if we tap that, you can see dopamine will pop up. You also can download the .tipa file on your computer and then actually airdrop the file over to yourself and open it in troll store that way. That's also a pretty interesting and pretty cool way to install it. And from there, just install it from troll store. For most people, opening it directly in Troll Store is probably the easiest. Next, all you have to do is just tap on install and you can see Troll Store installs it and now it is on my device. So now I can go out to the home screen and I'll see the dopamine application on my device. Opening the application, we can see the UI and it looks really nice. You can see there's a settings page here and we can toggle on tweak injection and here's all the credits for all the people that worked on it. And now we can go ahead and tap on jailbreak. And now we actually have the choice between what package manager we want to install. So it's asking us to select package managers, either Cilio, Zebra, or both. If you're unsure of which one to select, select Cilio is what they're saying. So here's the jailbreak and it crashed on disabling Wi-Fi. So I think maybe this might have something to do with the fact that I had Wi-Fi enabled when I jailbroke. Supposedly that was fixed. However, it might just be a good idea before you jailbreak to toggle on airplane mode or turn off Wi-Fi or whatever you have to do. The jailbreak should be able to run perfectly fine, but you might have to do some troubleshooting as you normally would do with a 1.0 release of a jailbreak. There's also an option to show the verboost logs. So if you wanna see all of the technical things that are happening while it's jailbreaking, it's pretty cool to see. So anyway, I figured I'd just restart the jailbreak process and turn off Wi-Fi this time, and hopefully this will just run completely smoothly the whole way through. So let's go ahead and just hit jailbreak, and you can see now there's no issues. Everything is just super nice and super smooth. It says bootstrapping. 
It's finalizing the bootstrap, and here we go. Now, this is the first time I've ever seen a jailbreak do this, and honestly, it's awesome. It's asking us if we want to change the root password of the device, because we're actually able to do that with a rootless jailbreak nowadays. So I just kept it as default. The default for iPhones or for iOS devices is Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E. So I'm just gonna type that in and keep it as default. You can change the root password if you want. It's actually a really good idea if you do change your root password. This way, someone just can't randomly SSH into your phone and mess with things. But now the jailbreak is done and it's gonna go ahead and restart the device. And once the device comes back up, you should now see Cilio or Zebra on your device. So here's Zebra and here's Cilio. And installing a package is still pretty simple. There's just a new tweak injection method bundled with this called LKit. And basically it's like substrate or substitute or anything that you've used before. And it just allows tweaks to run in a rootless environment. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much going to do it for today's video. If you did enjoy, please make sure to hit that like button. Also, go ahead and subscribe and turn that post notification bell on. So that way you never miss out on a brand new upload. Thanks everyone so much for watching. Have a good one guys. Peace.